Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. If everyone got to see life stats after they died, what would be the most embarrassing thing for you to check in that? Screen time would be depressing to see. Even more depressing. Time rendered working. And even worse, time spent commuting. I feel like times you made things too awkward or jokes you didn't catch would be up there. Yep, mouth open, words, brain engage. That's the way my brain works, and one is very definitely in the wrong place. The amount of times I've taken a passing comment as someone sharing one of my special interests is astounding. Like, I'm great if you want someone for trivia night, but don't let me socialize outside of that. The number of times I didn't help someone but could have missed assists. Also, number of pats given to animals would be a great one to see. I'm confident on this one. Hash of times you could have got the girl if you just weren't a dumbass. That's a double-edged sword. Whatever the stat is you are going to be disappointed. Do a day you're so fucking right. Time spent wanking compared to time spent fucking. Wank to fuck ratio. Tears of joy excellent. All my WTF number was poor. Other guys seeing their high wank, fuck ratio flushed. Me seeing my, undefined, wank, fuck ratio cool. Little math joke for ya. Time spent wanking when fucking was an option, you just didn't know. This would actually be depressing. Wanking isn't too weird. Most people's wank to fuck ratio will probably be really high. However seeing the fucking as option would be insane. No matter who you are. There's a good chance you've missed a hint at someone you like finding you attractive too. Hell it could be someone you bypassed at a grocery store. So from that single point on. Assuming you're physically close enough. Within same city. All wanks could be fucks. Number of times you called your mum. Next to number of times she wished you called. Brutal. My mom passed recently so this one hit close. Call your moms. Mine, too, so I know what you mean. However, this is not a universal truth. While my relationship to my parents has always been nothing but positive there are other people who've suffered enough from either parents that it's completely justified to reduce or even cut out contact with them entirely. I'm not saying this for the sake of being a contrarian but because I know firsthand how some people suffer from guilt when they are taking these measures for the sake of their own mental well-being. Especially because a line you'll often hear is, you'll regret it once I'm dead. The number of hours, days, years thinking about and obsessing over nightmare scenarios which never came about, or were much easier to get through than I feared. Miles of Reddit scrolled. Rip R. Apollo app also fuck you, spares. Fuck you, spares. Liters alcohol consumed. I really hope I never have to see this number. Total time I've spent watching porn. Time spent trying to find the right video. Missing the toilet pissing. It'd probably collapse reality. When the number clocks over the max and resets to zero. Causing a Y2K bug for the multiverse. Did you want the count of times it happened or like a measure of the gallons? I'd like to know the amount in gallons. The number of times. As a young man. That I was unsure of whether a woman was flirting with me or just being friendly. And how many routes I missed out on because of this. The real depression will hit when that stat is zero. Not necessarily embarrassing, but probably depressing. Times I have not been noticed. It happened way too often that someone would ask for me when I'm almost directly in front of them. And it's not like I'm short either, but rather half a head, or more, taller than most people. Times I've been talked over, ignored when trying to speak would be a big one for me. Number of times responding, you too, when a waiter says, enjoy your meal. Or saying, you too, to the guy that checks tickets before boarding the flight that says, have a nice trip. Quote. How many people had crushes on me that I didn't catch on to? How many people I thought maybe might be interested, have a crush on me but? No, no, they were just being friendly or I was being delusional. <laughs> Hash of times you masturbated. Then, a substat would be the stuff you masturbated to. Yeah, I can imagine it could cost someone their reputation and public image. What does it matter? You're dead. <laughs> Money spent on things I really did not need, but just wanted to buy anyway. Money spent on fast food or delivery. Pasta overcooked loudly crying loudly crying. I mean, it doesn't look like you have to deal with a lot of soft noodles. Also number of times I cooked too much pasta. Also number of times I cooked too much pasta. Get a digital kitchen scale. 100 grams of dry pasta per person, is the general guideline at least. Personally go for a bit more. But I am a fatty so. And if the objectively superior metric isn't doing it for you. Pretty much all digital scales have a switch for imperial. Number of times I fell off a ladder, landing on back and farting loudly upon impact. In front of many peers and co-workers. That's not one I'd choose to revisit. It's only once, but that's one too many. That could be the foundation of a lot of lifetime friendships though.
depending on how everybody reacted and how paralyzed you got. It echoed skeptical smiley face. The difference in muscle mass between my right arm and my left. Got a alternate. Amount of times I lost my glasses on my face. Time spent procrastinating. Hey, I'll work this stat out later. Sir I'd like to believe you get to see all your stats when you die. Through Jesus. The matrix or whatever you want to believe. Here's some of the things I've thought about over the years. Show me times I did something embarrassing when I thought no one was looking but they were. Most used words of all time. I'd see my name and be like. Oh yeah of course. Phases of saying phrases. Duration. Origin and when I stopped. Lit. Fam. Peak. She wants the D-man face palming dark skin tone etc. Good and bad things people have said behind me back. Times where I made a decision that literally saved my life. You never know. Man shrugging dark skin tone. Times where I thought I rocked her world but in fact I barely moved it. I'm dead so I'm assuming I've transcended past emotional hurt. Total hours with certain friends. Something good that people remember me for. Or something positive I may have said that stuck with them. Encounters with strangers I've met once but for whatever reason they still remember me for. TBH the most used word for you would probably be, the, statistically speaking. With that being said though, these are very interesting stats. I especially like the phrase duration one I would love to see that.